when you exercise, when you use your muscles, you are giving yourself medicine. And it is medicine you can't access any other way. You can't take a pill that has hope molecules in it. Until this current decade, scientists did not know that your muscles are endocrine organs. So endocrine organs are organs in your body that synthesize and release chemicals into your bloodstream that affect every system of your body. And, you know, biologists basically thought muscles were there to use energy to move your bones around in place. Um, but your muscles are actually like a pharmacy in the same way that like your adrenal glands or your pituitary gland, um, your pancreas. Your muscles are this amazing pharmacy that are manufacturing and storing chemicals that have profound effects on your physical and your mental health. And let me just like, give some examples. So first of all, they're called myokines. So myo means muscle and kine means set into motion by. So these chemicals called myokines, they're set into motion by your muscles into your bloodstream where they can travel and affect your heart, your immune system, your brain. Um, so some of them do uh, really important things like help you regulate blood sugar to improve your metabolism and help you use energy. Some of them kill cancer cells when they're in your bloodstream and help your immune system kill cancer cells. Um, some of them are really important for cardiovascular health and help protect the health of say your blood vessels in your heart. So, so researchers now think that these, these chemicals that your muscles produce, these molecules, are one of the reasons why all forms of exercise are linked to better physical health and reduced risk of like every disease you can imagine. It's all forms of exercise because all forms of exercise engage muscles and your muscles are this pharmacy. But so here's so the hope molecule thing. So some of these myokines have their strongest effects on your brain. And so and they are only released when you contract your muscles. So that's one thing I, I forgot to mention, your muscles are not giving up these myokines unless you use them. It's like, like your muscles, you know, it's like a rule. You use them and your muscles say, okay, I guess you are engaged with life. Let me help you out <laughs> by giving you all these chemicals that will protect your heart and kill cancer cells and regulate your blood sugar, right? So you have to, you have to move your body wow. um, basically in order to get the, the full effect of this pharmacy you have. So when you exercise, your muscles release some chemicals that particularly target your brain. And when they reach your brain in the short term, some of these chemicals uh, immediately act like an anti-anxiety. So to start to suppress fear and stress and worry and increase motivation and, and actually enhance learning as well. So a short term effect. And in the long term, when your brain is regularly exposed to these chemicals, your brain starts to change in, in structure and function in ways that make you more resilient to stress. So it literally starts to change the connections between the systems of your brain that help you control your emotions, that help you um, have a challenge response rather than a fight or flight response to stress, that, that help you recover from things like depression or grief. And um, a study that was published, I think it was maybe 20, 14, 2015, one of the first studies to look at this, the researchers called them hope molecules because these studies were showing that exercise was um, preventing trauma-induced depression, that there were literally molecules being released from your muscles that were like, like an intravenous dose of hope in really difficult circumstances. So this is the thing I hope that people now, once you know it, you, you will never unknow, is that when you exercise, when you use your muscles, you are giving yourself medicine. And it is medicine you can't access any other way. You can't take a pill that has hope molecules in it. Not yet, anyways. <laughs> you need to lift something heavy or push something or dance or walk, or play sports, or garden. As long as you're using your body, your muscles are gonna be releasing these chemicals. And again, there are dozens of them that, and I just happen to love the hope molecules because I do like to think that I'm giving myself an intravenous dose of hope when I exercise.